Alongside perhaps oxygen and maybe water, the most valuable commodity we have as a species is time. Because we know no matter how much of it we do or don't have, we only have a certain finite amount of it. And it's up to us to make the most out of whatever time we have available. And I look at the WWE, and for the past several years, but in particular 2016, it feels like everything about it has just been one gigantic waste of time. Like, I sit there and look at it, and I say, you know, why do I continue to waste time on this company? Or, frankly, professional wrestling, period. Because it's not good. Frankly, don't think any of it is really all that good, to be honest with you. Um, but just sticking with WWE, because WWE is the topic of this particular video, I just don't see why I would continue to bother. You know, hopefully 2017 will be something different, but that's what I said at the end of 2015, and the end of 2014, and so on, and so on, and so forth, and so forth. This crap is just really, really bad. So we got the WWE's last pay-per-view event of the year, Roadblock, on Sunday. And how appropriate that it's called Roadblock. Because I can say, at the end of the day, it is a roadblock, this show, this card, for me watching it. You know, I'm like, on a Sunday night, do I really want to dive in and watch three plus hours of this crap? And the answer is a flat out no. Like, I look at this card. The kickoff show is Rusev versus Big Cass. Then we get to the main card. You've got a 10-minute time limit match between my roided-up younger uncle, uh, Braun Strowman, taking on my Uber driver, Sami Zayn. Two fucks less I could not give. Seth Rollins versus Chris Jericho. Sure, some of you will enjoy it, it's whatever, but as far as I'm concerned, this match makes the fucking list of shit, too. You've got the Raw Tag Team title match, Cesaro and Sheamus versus The New Day. Okay, so now what, Cesaro and Sheamus get the belts? whoopity do! You got a triple threat for the Cruiserweight title between TJ Perkins, the only guy in that division that's worth a shit or interesting in any way, the Brian Kendrick, and then, of course, the guy who's actually a champion, I believe, right now, Rich Swan. So two guys I don't give a fuck about at all versus one guy I do, and the guy that I do give a fuck about that should be the champion that you should be building up as your heel champion to get a babyface Cruiserweight ready, you know, I don't know, maybe a Neville to take the title from him at WrestleMania. We're wasting fucking time and we're making the Cruiserweights, uh, the men's division equivalent, excuse me, of the old Divas title. Where it's just like Kelly Kelly. Everybody gets a fucking run or a turn, except Naomi, apparently. But TJ Perkins, Brian Kendrick, Rich Swan, a Cruiserweight title match, a triple threat where it's all going to be mat based, ground and pound submission wrestling. I'll pass. You've got an Iron Woman match, Charlotte versus Sasha Banks for the Women's Championship. Oh my God, this is still going on. The feud between these two is still a thing. Think about that for a second. Charlotte versus Sasha, which was going on back at WrestleMania, is still going on now in December. And now we've decided that we're going to make the match even fucking longer. Charlotte can't carry 10-minute matches. You want to hear her carry 20 or 30-minute matches? You're fucking insane. And then a universal title match, a match we've seen several times already on Raw, between Roman Reigns, the U.S. champion, and Kevin Owens, the universal champion. Like, who books this shit? I'm just looking at this. This feels like Raw Block more than it does Road Block because I think almost every single match on this card in some way, shape, or form has actually happened on Raw. The whole purpose of having a pay-per-view is for it to be, as it's affectionately called, a special event, to actually be a special event. To have some feeling of bigness. To have some feeling of freshness, of newness. And you get none of that once again with this freaking card. Again. Like TLC, I didn't even bother finishing. Because I said, you know what? Fuck it, I've had enough. I figure what better way to avoid wasting my time, that most valuable and precious of commodity, what better way to avoid wasting my time than just to not watch this damn show anyways? I mean, why the fuck would I? What has the WWE done to give you any reason to watch this fucking show? It's literally like they look at it and say most months now, because of the brand split, oh, we got two pay-per-views, we'll just put some matches out there, 
and just slap the butter on the fucking sandwich or, you know, for whoever, the mayonnaise on the fucking sandwich. You know, mayonnaise is awesome. Sucks shit. And you're just supposed to accept it. And I don't accept this. Professional wrestling cannot be this hard. And clearly it is. And please do not come on these comments and try to con me into believing that this is any good. Because I'm not buying that bullshit, because I know that's not true. And deep down, you know, unless you're living in a truly delusional wrestling bubble, that this shit isn't any good either. You know, I remember the days when I used to look forward to wrestling. I loved wrestling, and I would sit there and always want more. Like, I couldn't get enough. Now this company has oversaturated the marketplace to a point where I don't want any at all. And again, it comes down to this. There are so many other things I could do with my time. If the WWE gives me a reason to care, then I ultimately will find a reason to watch. Period. It's the way it's always been for 30 plus years. But if you sit there and fundamentally go out of your way to show that you don't care, then why should I care? If you're not going to try and make an interesting, compelling product, then I'm not going to try to fit three hours of this shit into my schedule. It's just not happening. If they're not going to take the time to put forth better effort, then I'm not going to take the time out of my day to support this company and watch this crap. Now, will I watch the Royal Rumble next month? Absolutely, because it's a Royal Rumble. No question. But right now, man, shit, I look at things and I'm like, I could be watching Christmas movies. I could be watching old Christmas specials. I could sit there and be watching Tampa Bay take on Dallas and Sunday night football. There are just so many better uses of my time. A good shower, a good shit, perhaps some sex, walk the dogs, you know, maybe a combination of everything. So many things I could be doing other than watching Roadblock. So therefore, I'm not going to be watching Roadblock. I'm not going to review Roadblock. I'm not going to talk about Roadblock. And I hope some of you join in too, because you can't just allow this company to continue to waste your time. And throughout this entire year, that's what everything pretty much has been, is one gigantic waste of time. And at least from my perspective, I resent somebody wasting my time to the level that this company has. So, I'm not going to give them any more of my time this week. It's just not happening. And I hope some of you do the same damn thing.